Hello, welcome to Be A Legend. If you haven't seen episode 19 yet, then the link should be in the screen and go back and watch it. If you've just picked up this through a search on YouTube or whatever and you haven't watched the series, then go back and start the series from the start and then you get no spoilers and you can enjoy it all the way through. If not, then I'm looking forward to a good episode, but there is a spoiler alert coming up after this. Hello and welcome to this bonus episode of To Be A Legend. My name is Mark and on today's episode we have a trip to Wembley for the FA Trophy Final where we play Chesterfield and uh, well after a season that saw us win the National League on the last day of the season. How exciting was that? And then uh possibility of us be turning professional and starting life in league two next season well what more can you do to cap that than win the fa trophy so that's what we will be doing today um and also we'll be uh setting up ready for the end of season review episode and uh transfers which we will need a few i think uh, albeit uh, was having a look down through yesterday um, just to see who uh, we're likely to keep and uh, doing a little bit of a sift and who we're likely to uh, lose so we'll be uh, having a closer look at that on the next episode because we need to make that step up now to league two so there you will see on this side of the screen the final table um, as it was in um, the league uh, you will also see Southend got promoted via the playoff final, uh, which was played on the fifteenth, uh, on the tenth at Wembley, and uh, yeah, they have been promoted only on penalties though. Um, it obviously was a very very close match. Hartlepool coming through on the other side of the draw, uh, as you see, Hartlepool actually had the better of the game probably, um, just didn't put their chances away, and uh, paid the price for it as it was. So that's how it ended up, um, nil nil. And uh, as you'll see, they missed two penalties there, um, which wasn't uh, particularly good. So Southend will be joining us in uh, League Two next season. Um, Chorley and Southend, and I suppose really when you think about it, they were far enough in advance of those teams really to uh, to get it. And perhaps they had the momentum a bit. Uh, they had a bit of a wobbly end to the season. We didn't. They did, uh, thankfully. Um, so um, that's how it is relegated Wealdstone, Dulwich Hamlet, uh, Kingslin, and Maidenhead um, so they will be the teams going down into the various uh, north and south as it were right any more to do we will get on with the episode and the game in hand which is a FA Trophy final game at Wembley against Chesterfield And this is the team that we're putting out against Chesterfield in this uh, FA Trophy final. And uh, not many changes, as you will see. Irwin finishes the season in goal, whether he's going to be with us next season, whether we need to up the goalkeepers, uh, I don't know, or whether Fodicek will pause himself back into the side. Uh, Dwyer, Jameson, Baines comes back in uh, for Anderson, who has had a fantastic uh, run in the, uh, in the team. Um, it was a dilemma whether to have him or Baines, but Baines has been our uh, defensive player. We only brought Anderson really to uh, to give us a little bit of option in the back there, but also uh, to avoid any uh, if we had injuries and things like that, and to give the guys a bit of rest. Baines was very very tired. We've had a 21 day break since the end of the season, so he's well rested um, and can come back in there. Unfortunately, we don't have seven options on the bench we'll do next season but we don't have seven on the bench otherwise i think anderson would have been on the bench as well uh, hughes on the right hand side of course right at the base of midfield we're going to put him back on a defensive instruction for now but as you'll see these three have uh, cohorted to make themselves into a uh, 
a, a sort of very firm midfield Mary Biggins and Wright and as you'll see they are all playing very very well together so um, it's uh, it's building into so maybe that will become our mainstay of our midfield next season Sterling James on the left Ogenby on the right he has signed a new contract so he is going to be with us next season and into league two i bless you, he's pleased with that riley is up front he's got to be up front um wouldn't have anybody else there fodder check birch shenton andal gibbons and felix are on the bench uh akoka uh, has gone away on international duty so that's why he isn't available um and obviously uh, we'll be looking at both our loans whether we keep them need them back or not or whether there's better options to bring in on a permanent basis if we can't bring them on a permanent basis they may be the options of course so the only change really is lewis baines for anderson from the team that won us the uh league on the last day of the season and uh we really should have had a look to see how chesterfield um stack up um in the previous meetings with them should have done all that but never mind go through to the dressing room now and uh we'll pump fists no we won't. we're outstretched arms if you can pick up where you left off in the last match then you will get your hands on that trophy it's done absolutely nothing um all right so individuals um, Lewis Riley, get out there and make a difference. You will um, mark in your 100th appearance for Chorley. Go out there and enjoy the occasion. That's not nothing either. Um, I think the midfield. Faith in you, go out there and make a difference. Um, who else? Chris Mary. He seems motivated. And uh, Akil Wright. Get out there and make a difference he seems motivated as well so we've done a few of them let's get on with the game um obviously tunnel because this is a big match big game has finally upon us can you win the fa trophy here today we've managed to give ourselves a great platform which performed today and i hope the players did themselves justice um, because they've been magnificent all season surely i have this could be the last time we see aki all right in surely sure do you have any special plans to give him an appropriate send-off um I'm not sure. I know it's a predictable response from the main task. But is it unsure we win? Anything else would be nice, but would hardly be a priority. And uh, um, who said that he's going? Um, I'm going to be look at keeping him here. Maybe there's a reason. I haven't uh, spotted the reason why they would think that. About 31,000, I think, on the uh, screens coming into this uh, here at Wembley. Um, be interesting to see what the split is at some point. And we're underway. No highlights as yet. We are playing in white, Chesterfield in blue, and Chesterfield have the first high attack by highlight they've got into the area I need to keep them out and they have scored we are a goal behind after 10 minutes position we have come back from previously but uh, that's put the uh, he was on side, put the cats amongst the pigeons, and please tell me that wasn't Baines in that I couldn't see in time. Um, I'm hoping that wasn't Baines because uh, I've given him the chance today. I'm 20 odd minutes gone, and nothing happening. We've been on a positive mentality. I think we need to up that to attacking, and really, we've done absolutely nothing in this game so far. To be honest, we probably wouldn't have expected to win this. And um, this could be a bit of a dour affair. Um, 
key highlights let's go to extended highlights and perhaps we'll get a few more highlights on the thing half time comes and we've had one highlight in that half very short episode if it's going to be the case and uh, we need to pick the guys up in the dressing room point the finger show me something else in the second half or shall we look you all know as well as I do let's go to that one and that's not done any good at all right who's not performing Chris Mary Lewis Raleigh mind you probably hasn't had on that one um, Chris, Mary, Omar, Sterling, James Chris, Mary not happy with your performance and I think that's about it so that's what we'll go with Let's see if that jollies them up. And we have kickoff for the second half. Biggins back to Baines. Baines to Hughes. Hughes back to Baines. Baines to Biggins. And that highlight disappears. Jameson is shown a yellow card. So we need to avoid any send-ins off in this. Jameson. And while we're at it, let's fire up the team and see if we can get them going. Very dour affair. They have a throw in on this side, but Biggins has won the ball back. And he's been tackled, but the ball goes through to Riley. And Riley did get the shot away in the end, but I'm not quite sure what happened there. Tackled. The ball did go through to Riley. Riley was in a bad angle. Really left the ball alone. And defender didn't get rid of it. So he had a shot anyway. Baines were not going to take off. We are getting back into the game here. And uh, just need to put that pressure on. 70 minutes in and I think we might have to go up but we are a goal behind to very attacking it leaves us open and a second goal against us will kill the game off right now but we need to try and get that goal back if at all possible we're not going to by the looks of it Eighty minutes comes and goes and do we have any options on the bench that can change this game I'm not thinking so um, Lewis Riley uh, really hasn't had a game we're going to bring Felix on for him Sterling James has had a bad game on that side Chris Murray and I think this is where we, the midfield having said that they're performing together have lost it really um, we're going to do all three changes right now which is Eighty minutes gone. If somebody gets injured after this, then I suppose in a way it's just tough, and that's the end of our game. They have blocked us off, defended very, very well um, here, and uh, they've got that goal and stuck with it. It's not going to come, and. Oh, hang on a minute. Hughes to Biggins. Back to Hughes. Hughes crosses it in. Nobody there. Wright will pick it up in midfield. He's going to have to be quick. Jameson to Dwyer. Dwyer to Wright. Wright lobs it forward looking for Felix. Couldn't find him. Wright still have it. 
Biggins. Biggins to Ogenby. Ogenby, what's going to Ogenby going to do? He's been tackled and he's lost the ball. And that is the end of the game. We have lost the final by a goal to nil. And mm, really didn't show ourselves to the best. And uh, unfortunate. Never mind. And there they are. Chesterfield have won the FA Trophy. Disappointing. But you can't always win everything, I guess, in this game. Let's go through to the post-match information. Go through to the dressing room. Um... We're going to go unlucky, boys. Hands on hips. Um, it would have been nice to win the trophy, but it wasn't to be. I think that's the uh, the best team talk that we could have done. Um, pretty much the team talk before the match was along the lines of, well, we've got here. Nobody really expected us to get here. Uh, we have. And um, just go out and enjoy the occasion, really. Uh, it was such a disappointment. Uh, we gave it our best shot, and that's all we can ask. Uh, it would have been nice to win... Uh, but that's football. I think it's probably very, very true. Um, there was some bafflement uh, amongst supporters. Uh, refused to substitute Vinny Dwyer, despite he's clearly blow out. Um, keep on freeze work rate. I think that's uh, fair enough. And uh, let's go through to there. Um, we will do the post-match conference off line what I should have done before we started uh, which I will do now if we have a look at this uh, past meetings that is the first time we've lost them we drew 2-2 two -two earlier in the season in July pretty much at the start of the season we beat them 4-1 um, then in December in the return match in fact you've seen all the Chesterfield games on the, the uh, screen this year because uh, we I think we although watched those the first two games then we came back for a how have we how have we improved and then uh, then we've got this one um but uh, wasn't to be today Lewis Raleigh maybe the uh, the big gap in between um did something to us who knows um so there we go that is our season we will come back uh, in due course um with uh, all the bits and pieces including um our finances for next season in league two and all the rest of it so uh, there you go we hope you've enjoyed the season and the episode and the series so far uh hope you've enjoyed today's episode it will be a bit a uh, bit of a, a damp squib at the end uh, if you have don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all future episodes of this and any new series that we release uh, new episodes of to be a legend are currently released every monday and thursday so we'll be back tomorrow because i think this bonus episode is going out on wednesday uh, back tomorrow with um the uh, uh, end of season review and transfer special why not follow me on twitter at just offside 2 to keep up to date on this channel and more uh, with all the new episodes and also bonus uh, episodes as they come out uh, uh, all that remains for me to do is thank you for watching and see you for the next episode which will be out tomorrow thursday for me goodbye